Okay, just want to show you guys the mess that I'm dealing with. You can see the tank looks great. Otherwise, all the corals are starting to pretty much color back up. We've got the anemone here that's pretty much colored up and all the pallies and zoas and the acans here. But the issue, and you probably already noticed it, is the GSP here. I mean, look at how like rampant it has gone in the tank. It's already reached over here. You know, life gets in the way, guys. I didn't have any time to catch it in the act while it was going on. And then you can see here, GSP on this rock, on this rock, on this rock with the chalice. Like it's a huge mess here and it's gonna kill that rainbow chalice eventually. So I've got to take care of this right now. It's pretty much on the verge of, uh, you know, being suicided by the GSP. And it's made it here, you can see there. I've just kind of picked at it in between those. So I think all of these acans should be pretty easy to pull off and put on some new rock. Um, we'll kind of probably lose some of that Monty there, but that'll be okay. And we'll have to see, you know, what happens from there. We might just completely leave this this rock in the back since now it's got gsp on it we might just make it a complete island and anything else with gsp on it a total complete island so the gsp started off as an island you know i wasn't stupid with it and just being reckless well kind of little reckless because it was pretty close to the other rocks and it you know just eventually reached like you see gsp do so while i didn't have any time to look after it it Definitely did a lot more reaching. I think even with this Monty shading it out a little, it ended up doing some more reaching. So that's what we're left with. So that's kind of why people hate having GSP. And now I'm starting to hate it too. But we'll, we'll get it taken care of, I'm pretty sure. It's not over here. Not over here. Got a little baby Nem in there. Um, it's just on all these rocks that are over here it will very quickly be over there if i don't um enact on it now so what i'm planning to do is try and break off that bottom branch with the chalice so that that way i don't lose any of those pieces any of that growth that's already on there and if that works out that'll be great whatever's left of the gsp i plan to just blow torch it put a respirator on some goggles and go to town. I don't recommend doing that unless you feel, you know, as ballsy as I am right now. But I think we can get this back under control here. And it's a new opportunity to rescape here. Yeah, take a look at everything under the natural light here. Looks very neat. So my goal with this rock, since everything is kind of nicely grown onto it, I'm gonna try and just incinerate that GSP with a little torch here. We'll see if that'll do it. Wish me luck here, and that I don't die. Got this one broken off. Let's see the bucket here. Water. 
but this chalice did not break off cleanly. Wow, look at this. So that chalice found a little groove there where it broke. So this chalice actually did not break at all. It was actually growing down where that other rock was attached here. Actually, that's perfect so that I'll have a little rock here with like a frag of this. And there's that damn GSP, Carol Baskin. Y'all thought Carol Baskin was bad, that GSP. Amen. Amen. Right there, we got them both off. No damage, no real damage done. I mean, a little bit, but I mean, she's intact. She's intact. Even this little rock from underneath broke off. But the chalice is fine. The chalice is fine. You can see that little rim under there. Very neat. Very neat. All right, well, we'll consider that two successful attempts there. Break that off. All right, so this rock just has GSP left on it. I'm probably gonna just break it and sell them as frags. Oh wow, check this out. The uh, Monty here, it's got a, it, it grew all the way around and it's got a little hole right there. It's pretty neat. All of these corals out in the sun are very neat. All right, so after torching it, I took these brushes to it and it peeled off like a banana. Now I don't recommend doing this at home. I just took the risk because what do I have to lose here? And now I'm just gonna rinse off the rock from all that stuff that I scraped off here. So I'm just gonna kind of pour this over. And that should be good there. So I'll take this, leave it. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I broke the chalice. It kind of, it kind of broke off there. So, not sure. It kind, it broke on an eye, but what can you do? Nothing that you can do. I'm just gonna get them back in some fresh water. This water is a little cold though, but it's better than being in that stuff that has all the torch leave it, all the torch GSP. Well, I guess I'll have a hundred dollar frag here sometime soon. A little more than a hundred dollars. that GSP purple mat was right here nothing left nothing left that's a risky way to do it but save this rock here and you guys see there where this broke off you can see that's all flesh it's gonna take some time for this to heal back up there um, but, and hopefully this right here grows out. We'll have two pieces. And I can make some money back. Tank, put them in the tank. 
water. Okay, so last piece of rock here, which is the GSP, because we want to now contain the issue. So this rock right here, I'm not even gonna mess with trying to um, get it to survive. I think for the time being, I'm gonna end up having a tank that doesn't look that nice for a while until I can find somebody who wants, you know, a huge rock of GSP or something like that, you know, so it will have to be something that I just will figure it out as we go here. So, you know, this long rock, which is where the pistol shrimp and Yashra Gobi live. Oh, it's not as dirty as I thought it would be pulling this out. I think that's what I'm going to do there for this GSP. That looks pretty nice. I just need to figure a way to anchor it. I need to stop stirring that sand bed up. Oh, I need to break this A can off. I'll do that now. Perfect. So I've got this A can off. Nice ball of beautiful neon green A can. I'll just set that right here for the time being. So I want to see if I can get this to just kind of lean up like that. Not really what I want here. So I need that GSP to not be touching a single thing anymore. So GSP, gonna keep it contained like that, hopefully for now. Oh, well, I see how this could become a problem, but if it grows onto the glass, I can always scrape that off. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. The only problem we have here now is that the A-cans need a spot. A cans need a spot. This is a mess. Oh boy, oh boy, is this a mess. see the real damage that I did doing all that torching let's see it's a little hard here but you can see on that red a can and on that blue and pink chalice there they are burn victims and especially this gold one right here we'll have to come back when the tanks get a little bit clearer you can see the black right there but um, I don't believe that they should die. I think they should be resilient enough. All right, so this is what I could fix up for the time being for the scape here. So we've kind of got the same idea here with this uh, little branch rock going up into this rock. You'll notice that this rock came from on this side and now this side is empty. That GSP rock that was under the sand and buried is now standing up there. It's free to grow onto the back wall. Um, not a good idea, actually, because we've got that there. We'll, we'll, we'll control it. We'll, it's better there than it was anywhere else. Now we're just ready to do our water change here. Got some stuff on the sand here, rainbow on the sand there. But everything now is isolated from GSP. The rock that was back there with the GSP is now here on the floor. We've got the Blue Ridge Coral. I uh, don't want to keep any of this, so... Um, I put this up if anybody wants to come pick it up. Um, there's an anemone on it somewhere, but we'll see. We'll leave this in a bucket and hopefully that anemone will pop off and we can sell it. But yep, yeah, that's what we're working with. We'll do, go ahead and do a five gallon water change here. So in the middle of all this, I guess the peppermint pistol or candy cane pistol shrimp here got uh separated from the yasha gobi you hear it pop in there so it's kind of made this uh mushroom corner here its new home but take a look there's my leopard grass don't look too good but when i do like very heavy maintenance work like i just did it gets very stressed out and will lay down like that but 
most of the times, it has turned out uh, just fine. You can see it moving its eyes and stuff. I think it's just letting uh, oxygen get through its gills. This is pretty cool. I think these shrimp don't have good vision. Here he goes. He just peaced out. And he's swimming around now. Here he comes through right there. The uh, pistol must have kicked up some sand onto him, but you can see now he's up and about. I don't know what he does that for, but he's done that his entire life, or she has. Now, this is pretty neat. I don't know where the Yasha Gobi is, though. Have yet to see it come out. That's the one, one thing that's missing. I do have the one rock that I pulled out here in this bucket because there's an anemone. So hopefully that anemone walks around and pops off and then we can stick it in the tank. But I'm thinking to make this corner here like a uh, little euphilia garden. Okay, so that's the first look here. Just wiped off the glass and put in some new water. Things are pissed off here. There's the leopard grass out and about. Like I told y'all, some reason it just does that. And here's that pistol shrimp. Huh, pretty cool. It's dug in very deep there. Very deep burrow. Wonder if the, uh, look at that go. <laughs> Wonder if the, uh, Yashagobi will come out and look for it. I'm sorry there, out of focus. So you can see the corals that were near where I was doing the torching are just showing some very ill signs here. Let's see that one. This one, I accidentally put the uh, water vacuum on it and vacuumed off some of that skin there. So that'll be interesting to see how that comes back. And if it doesn't, it's fine. We've got this piece right here. Um, oh no, this anemone is about to flow right off of its rock there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the tank there. GSP is over there. It's not really isolated that well. If it gets on that little rock, it's whatever. Just got to keep it off of everything else. But this isn't going to be the final landscape here. We'll do a little more tinkering. Just let everything settle for now, though. All right, you all. This is an updated look here. It's been a couple days since we did that whole shabacle and things are uh, starting to get back to normal here you can see some of the effects of burning on some of these corals here right here uh this red one red one really like that it can but much rather have you know a few heads loss than it being suffocated out fully by GSP soon. So same deal here for this gold one, few heads or more than a few. This chalice here, really bad damage, but it was really close and creeping up on that chalice and there is still uh, some of it left, about half of it I would say. Let's see if you can see it through the side view here. Eh, not too bad, but you know, that GSP is all taken care of for now. We've got the rainbow chalice right here. It's looking bomb right there. Look at that. Looks good. I'm trying to figure out, you know, how I want to do the layout here because this isn't really final yet. You know, we've got the kind of the same thing going on here, except this rock has moved over. Um, and then nothing over here. I think I'm going to make this like a euphilia section. So we've got that one frog or hammer, sorry. And then here's that GSP 
isolated off from everything. There's already GSP on that mushroom island, so I don't really care if it gets on there. Uh, and then other than that, we've got this the big watermelon chalice moved down here. We've got that little frag of the rainbow right there. The plate corals right there. And there's a look at the leopard wrasse, just so you guys can see. Yeah, I'm not really sure why she does that, but she does, so. I had a clown that did that too, the other orange snowflake that was here before we got this black and white one, and she passed away, so definitely not a good sign to see when your fish do that. A little bit of loss on the Monty there, but it's no biggie. We've still got this one Nem right here. We've got one in the back there, if you can see that. One, this one was on the rock that's uh, that was removed, I left it in a bucket and it popped off and now it's kind of run onto that rock there. And our last one here. So, uh, yeah, I'd say a uh, pretty successful way of getting rid of GSP here. I haven't seen any of it shown up. Um, and we'll hope for the best here. So please do like the video, subscribe if you want to see the outcome and the long term uh, efficacy of doing this method to remove GSP. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll catch y'all on the next one.